this is my computer and this is my phone whatever i move on my phone it moves on my computer so basically it's like a little controller i guess in this video i will attempt to make an edit on ae using my phone hopefully i do good i don't even know but with that being said smash the like button and let's get straight to it keep your mind on your mask kid horror form a classic it's drastic villain hydrochloric acids Let's go ahead and get started. So, um, it's probably gonna be a little bit difficult to maneuver this because if you, if I zoom in and you go this way, it actually, no, it does go this way. Bruh. I know I'm tripping. I don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, so I actually already added a song and I already labeled um the beats, I guess. So I won't have to like listen and try to like sync up the pictures for the edit. This is the audio, by the way. So yeah, let's get started. So um, for this edit, I'm gonna be editing Ice Spice. Um, yeah, don't even ask. Hey, look at oh shit! Oh no! Oh. Anyways, we're gonna go over here. These are where the pictures are. We're gonna go ahead and add one of the pictures. We can see a little like preview right there. Let's just go with this one. Um, no, I think to drag. I think what I just, I just, yeah, I just need a hold. Oh, I can't go down. Oh, we have no space. I think I need to make it smaller. Like this, and then drag it over here. Oh, right there. I bet. So now we're gonna put this to the top. We have to go over here, actually. It's actually kind of like confusing. I think maybe, maybe I'll get used to it. Um, or maybe I won't. Okay, so right there. Um, now we need to cut it right here. I have no idea how I'm gonna cut this because usually like you use your keyboard, right? Oh wait, there's a keyboard right here. Hold on. Oh. There's a keyboard right here. So usually the shortcut is control shift D. There's no control shift D right here. Maybe go up here actually. Let me bring this timeline thingy right here. And then we're gonna go up here to edit and split layer. I'm smart. I'm literally smart. Cap. Okay, now to delete this, hopefully I can use a keyboard. Maybe just click this. <laughs> I'm so smart. Now to play the audio, I have no space for it unless I use this. Let me see. That could work, but that's way too much work. So if we go to window and then we go down to preview, I think we get the little thingy. Where is it? Yes, we do. Which is like little the wiki. Uh, blah, 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 blah. we can press play just right here. Hey yo, hey yo, what the fuck? I'm gonna just drag this right over here. All right, so the goal now is to make a little transition on this. Um, and we're gonna start with a little zoom in, zoom out, I guess. So let's go ahead and scale this up. Actually, and let's go ahead and scale this up. Oh my god. There you go. So you're gonna scale it, I guess, to 160. Let me see. It's actually perfect. I need to bring it down a little bit, actually. So, uh, right there. And then let's go ahead and pre compose this clip, which I have no idea how I'm gonna do. Wait. Oh, brother. I'm so smart. We're gonna go ahead and make a transition by using scale. Um, let me go back here. Let's go ahead and make a keyframe. Um, we're going to, I guess, yeah, leave it right there and go to the beginning and then make this. We're gonna make the why is it? Oh, we got the windows text now. How did I get that? We're gonna go with 600. It might be a lot for you, I think. Okay, now we're gonna select both of these keys frames i mean then we're gonna apply this uh graph and if we play it hold on. damn all right man we make making some progress <laughs> this thing is trash let me go ahead and add motion blur just so it can look better okay we're getting somewhere be fucking for real be be bff be fucking for real let me go ahead and add another picture i'm getting better at it Boom. 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 
We're gonna go ahead and scale this up. I'm gonna go ahead and pre-compose. Pre-compose this. And now we're gonna add a slide transition. Um, we need to get motion tile actually. Let me type motion. Oh. We're gonna grab motion to right here. Just double click it. And now we should have it over here. Boom. Get mirror edges. Oops. And we just wanna change the width to something close to 900. I guess there. We're gonna go ahead and pull up P. If we click P, I think it's gonna, yup. It's gonna open this. We're gonna make a keyframe. And then we're gonna go towards the end. And then we're gonna slide. Okay. All right. So I went ahead and added um, pictures for the rest of the edit. From right here to this picture right here, I wanna add a little rotation. But first, before I do that, I wanna add like a little position, like type of thing. I don't like explaining it. So if I play it, let me see. Okay, that's good enough, I guess. I'm gonna go to transform and we're gonna create a uh, rotation keyframe. So right there, and then I want this keyframe to be a little bit more over here and just boost this kind of like that. And we're gonna bring this and bring it over here. Let me add a graph to this. Damn. Okay, so I finished adding transitions and um, this is what it looks like currently. Um, yeah. I kind of don't see the content and like keep trying to editing this because then the video is going to be very long. So like, I'm going to just try and add like um, some shakes, some like, I guess some effects to some of the pictures and yeah, I'll be back three days later so i finally finished after like years and yeah like i said before it's not difficult at all it's basically the same thing as editing on my pc it's just that it takes forever and my fingers be cramping up trying to edit this but anyways this is the end result if you guys enjoyed please make sure to like this video and subscribe we on the road to 100k but yeah here's the results see you guys later i love you all.